Okay, so there's been a couple of comments on my videos talking about the solidity of my turbine models and how it might be affecting the results. So I think it's probably time to take a look at what that even means in terms of a vertical axis turbine and then spend a little time and as little effort as possible testing its effects. Hi, this is Max. Welcome back to the train wreck. Solidity. People keep saying that word, and I don't know what it means. Let's do some reading and see if we can do something about that. Okay, so it seems to be some ratio between the uh, turbine's diameter, or the radius, or maybe the circumference, and the blade's cord length. But I found a few different ways that it could be calculated. The first way is the ratio between the blade cord and the circumference. This is the ratio that I've been using in my previous tests. Next, I found in a different publication by the same authors where the solidity is defined as the ratio of the cord length to the diameter of the turbine. Finally, the last variant that I found is the ratio of the cord length to the radius. I'm going to link to all of these research and videos that I'm talking about um, down in the description. Anyways, I'm not sure which one of these three is correct, so I'm going to look at a similar line of research for inspiration. I'm going to see how this is defined for horizontal turbines, and I'm going to pick the one that most closely resembles that. In horizontal turbines, they use the total blade area divided by the swept area. For a vertical axis turbine, the swept area is the blade height times the rotor diameter. And this can just be reduced down to the diameter. The blade area can be reduced down to the cord length. So the calculation we should be using is the number of blades times the cord length divided by the diameter. As I said, previously I had been using the total cord length to the circumference ratio, which is why I have such large blades. It turns out I might have been wrong. And that's fine. This stuff happens. Anyways, I've printed more blades. They are the NACA 0018, since we're familiar with those, and have tested the Chonky Boy version already. The largest airfoil has a solidity of 0.93. The medium airfoil has a solidity of 0.63. And this little one has a solidity of 0.43. Four, one. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, that was interesting. Just kidding, that was pretty boring. Subscribe for more boring stuff. I spent way too much time trying to get these little ones to go. <clears throat> Let's add some pitch angle to these blades and see if we can make them do something. I designed a new mount system for the angle of attack episode, but it looks like I'm gonna need it now. It lets me test multiple pitch angles without the need to print a new set of blades each time I need a new angle. Pretty smart, right? Don't look at the bucket over there. There's not a bunch of the same blade, but in one degree increments. Get away from there. It's montage time.
All right, let's see how each of these do with increased pitch angles. Oh, and I also printed one more set of blades. It's a medium large blade uh, with a solidity of 0.75. We're gonna test each blade at three, six, nine, 12, and 15 degrees. And I'm only gonna show the best runs for each solidity. Otherwise, this video is gonna turn into the YouTube version of a 20 minute jazz odyssey. What? You, uh, you noticed something changed in the wind tunnel. You have a good eye. I'm very impressed. I'd smash your like button if you had one in real life. Just like you should smash the like button on this video. I wasn't gonna say anything about it, but since you brought it up, I did rebuild the mount to remove the transmission. I replaced it with a 90 kV BLDC motor. It basically just bolted into place, which is not usually the case with my projects. It should produce similar power as the old generator, but without the added friction and such. Okay, back to testing. The results. Here's a if I made. It's a ratio of power over solidity versus the pitch angle. I don't know how helpful this is, but I made it. It looks like more solidity is better as far as power output is concerned, but it's probably actually because of the scale. These small blades that have solidities closer to the correct scale don't produce enough lift. This is a product of the lift force not scaling at the same rate as the model. It could also be something else. Let me know if you think of anything in the comments. I think to fix this, I would have to increase the flow velocity or the density of the fluid or increase the scale of the models. Two of those options are kind of out of reach right now due to um, dollary do reasons. I'm not made of a money tree. You could probably tell by the current state of the wind tunnel. And the larger scale model fix runs into, well, the walls of the wind tunnel. So I think for now, the cheap fix is to make your airfoil designs in the 40 to 50-ish millimeter cord range. But also, do whatever you want, as long as it stays within the rules. Let me know if you like this kind of test, subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to give the video a like. Oh, and one more thing. Did you notice anything about that last test? We finally did it. We broke the one watt barrier and we're well on our way to the two watt barrier. That last test was literally off the charts. And I'm gonna have to change the scale of the graph because I was not expecting it to happen so soon. Okay, thanks, bye.